We've got a 2019 Dodge Ram in for upgraded low beams and fog lights. So this uh, model came with factory halogens. We'll show you the performance in just one moment. And this is one of the models that come with the halogen fog lights, which is nice because it's got a bezel and we've got a few options to swap in for this model. You can do uh, full assembly like Dow Dynamics SS3. You have the Morimoto four bangers now. Uh, the Elite Series will be available for this, so we do have a lot of options with this halogen fog light, unlike some of the other ones that come with the factory LED fogs. And here we've got the output of the factory halogens. It's not too bad, definitely could use some improvement, but it's relatively sharp and not too much light above the cutoff. The halogen fog lights are on as well, it's just hard to see them, they're not bright at all. Let's do a quick measurement like we've been doing, get a before. About. So the hotspot on these is quite low. As you can see, I'm way below the cutoff and looks like a max of about 223 and right under the cutoff about 213. So we'll see where we, uh, where we end up once we're done with the LED conversion. And now we've got the fog lights on only, which will help us when we do the after with the new SS3s installed. We'll get them lined up to the same point and we'll also do a quick test for the intensity. Let's see where we're at. About, it's about 85 lux. All right, so I've got the factory halogen on the passenger side and I've just installed the Morimoto two stroke 3.0 on the driver side. And you can still see it retains the sharp cutoff, but you've got a much larger intensity zone, which we call a hotspot area. And I'll show you how that's all set up in a moment. So I've removed the few screws holding the fender liner and I've exposed the rear uh, low beam area. It's a little hard to get to in here, but the bulb slips right in. There is a Diodynamics H11 anti-flicker. Uh, PWM module also stuffed inside, you can't really see it. And the cap is going to fit on, it's going to be 100% sealed just like factory. So super easy plug and play installation right from the back side uh, under the fender liner. Anybody can do this. Alright, so what you want to do is peel back the liner and you're going to go find that 7mm that's difficult to find because nobody ever uses it. You got three 7mm screws holding on this factory halogen fog light, we're going to remove that show you how the Diodynamics uh, Type AS fits in there. All right, so here's the factory Vallejo Halogen H11 fog light assembly found on many makes and models. And here we've got the Diodynamics SS3 LED pod, but they also double as fog lights with model specific brackets. It's got a factory uh, H11 input adapter. We're gonna bolt this up and show you how it all comes together. All right, factory fog light still on the passenger side, and we've got the Diodynamics SS3 Sport on the driver's side. So you can see the SS3, it only appears much, much brighter once you get in its field of vision. It's got a distinct cutoff line. Looks really, really good. And these come in yellow and white, yellow or white, I should say. And in three different power levels, you got the Sport, Pro, and the Max. All right, so that's the new setup. You got lows, LED low beams, and LED fog lights. So again, in the bottom, we got the SS3 Sports. Turn off the fog lights before you turn back on. It's a little bit hard to see, but you gain a lot of intensity, and especially the width. And if we just do the fog lights alone, you can see the type of beam spread they offer. Do a quick measurement in just one moment. So I've got this set up. This is the new fog lights. I believe we were hitting about 80 lux or so, and now we've got almost 200, so a solid twice as bright in terms of sheer intensity, but again, you've got a better beam distribution. This has a really nice yellow color if that's what you're looking for. If you step it up to the pros or even the max, the max would be even twice as bright as this, so expect about four times brighter than stock if you went with something like the max, although it does come with a premium price. All right, so we're back to the low beams. We'll do a quick Lux test to see the after results. 
And uh, if you remember earlier in the video, we were hitting about 200 lux right under the cutoff and about, I think 230 somewhere in the middle. But these are nice. They don't have uh, too much light above the, the cutoff. Again, halogen reflectors, so you can't expect too much in terms of uniformity and you know overall beam distribution, but this is pretty solid for LED. So right under the cutoff, we've got 400 lux. So that's twice as bright as the originals. And as we go down, we're in the 600s. And I believe we are hitting about 200 30 or so so huge increase in performance as well low beams and fog lights and this was a straightforward installation that you can definitely do yourself if you peel back the fender liners and uh, you've got an, about an hour of time so as far as DIY and bang for the buck this is an excellent upgrade for the 2019 Dodge Ram that came with the halogen fog lights and headlights if you guys have any questions email us it's info at lightworks.net check out the website you can call us too. We'll happily uh, set you up with the parts that you need and give you a proper recommendation on your make and model. Thanks again. Please subscribe to the channel if you can. We'd love to, uh, we'd love to have you following. Take care.